Long time no see, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Combo 101. Back at it with BB Tag. We're going to be learning with Oria today. We're going to be showing you a combo that is universally used by every single Oria man in BB Tag because it is a very, very strong combo you can use anywhere. It's universal across all characters. It can lead uh, to damage and it can also lead to what's called Oki, which is basically when you end the combo, you put them in a situation while they, they are getting out of the combo, you put them in a situation that they don't want to be in, basically forcing a mix-up, which is very, very strong. So, Orie is a very good character because of this. I'm going to be showing you the combo and how to do this relaunch combo. It's a relaunch bread and butter combo that or all Orie mains should know. If you don't know it, now you know. And if you need a little bit more explanation, a little bit of help with this combo, that's why I'm here today. I'm also going to be showing you a corner combo that's a little bit more advanced however it is a very fun relaunch combo as well in the corner in specific that's really really fun it can lead into the same situation a good damaging ender or a good oki ender so let's get into the universal bread and butter combo you can use anywhere on the screen okay let me show you the combo first okay. Bam. yeah so this combo is used by everybody so that is the damaging ender there and then the oki ender what is wrong with you there we go that's what it is right there so that's mostly in particular when you go to the corner however you can do this combo anywhere on the screen but if you want to get the oki ender that means you, you have to get it in the corner that's where it's really strong so without further ado let's get right into the actual combo itself so the combo we're going to be starting off with anything you want and i mean that in the most literal sense you can literally do whatever starter you want you can do 2a that leads into auto combos however the one thing you do have to keep in mind is that no matter what it is it has to lead into 2c into 2b sweep into 2b that is the main part of this combo so you can literally do whatever you want in the beginning as long as it leads to sweep into 2b in this case, I'm going to be doing 5 A A A. Seems like it's the easiest thing to do. 5 A A A, 5 B, 5 B, 2 C, 2 B. That's what I'm going to be doing, okay? Oh, you know what? I should switch the... That's much better. Sorry. Uh, I, I, I know that I've made videos before uh, doing this, but I always forget to switch on the actual <laughs> uh, layout, the, the button layout. But this will probably help you guys a lot. So let's do that again. So just like that. Bam. bam that's the first phase of the combo okay anything into sweep into 2b all right as long as you get that you are all set good to go so you get this far into the combo and as soon as you launch them up into the air that's when things will start to get uh there is a sequence of buttons that you can press where you get the relaunch almost every time okay the sequence is when you jump up in the air you press j jumping a a b okay then you jump again, and then you do jumping A, A, C. Okay? That's the sequence. That's the sequence right there, okay? A, okay, sorry. Uh, launch them. J, A, A, B. J, A, A, C. Okay? That's the first little half. So then after that, after you get the J, C, you're going to press J, B, jumping B again. Okay? So this is the sequence, okay? You gotta memorize this. This you have to ingrain this into your mind. Because this is the actual sequence to be able to get get it universal, okay? So you press 2C to B, launch them up in the air. J A A B J A C B. Okay? At that point, they are high enough in the air for you to be able to execute a J B for you for them to float in front of you. You land on the ground and you doing a 2B once you reach the ground, okay? That's the whole point of the combo. So once you get the launcher, J A A B, J A A C, J B, 2 B. And then at that point, you can figure out what you want to do after that. If you want to do an uh, Oki Ender or if you want to do a Damaging Ender. Okay? Launch J A A B, J A J A A B, J A A C, J B into Super or something. Just like that. So that's the actual combo. And like I said, you can lead into, oh, and then the, the, the finisher that I did was quarter circle back, uh, quarter circle back BB, okay? That's the ender that I do for Oreo. 
And then after that, okay, so another thing that I wanted to discuss as well is that you can actually do relaunch com two relaunch combos in one, okay? So, but the starter has to be specific. The starter has to be sweet. So, for example, if they do, let's say, for example, they do like a mistimed DP, just like that. At that point, you do this sequence and then you repeat. I'm sorry. Okay, sweep, 2B, repeat the whole sequence, and you do it again. Just like that. The only thing, once you once you actually repeat the sequence to get a the, the, the second relaunch, all you have to do is J-A-A, J-A-A-C, okay? So for the first one, you can do like that, basically. Just like that. So it's a little bit easier the second time around, which is nice. So that is the mid-screen bread and butter combo for Orie. It's pretty nice. Let me actually show you the corner combo now. Now that we've got the mid-screen combo already done. Let me see if I can get this first try, okay? So you go... Whoopsies. Nope, did not get it. Did not get it out of here. Got it. So that was the corner, the corner combo. It looks a little bit more flashier. It's a little bit more harder just because it requires timing. So how this combo works is you're basically going to be doing any launcher, like I said, that does not include 5B. 5B has to come right after sweep. So you can do any starter you want, any single one. You can even do sweep itself if you'd like. You start off the combo, and then after that, you're going to be doing a sweep. And after the sweep, which is 2C, you're going to be doing a 5B. Okay? So combo, sweep, 5B. All right? This is where it gets tricky here. You do 5A, 5B, and then you're going to delay just a smidge, just a smidge, your 2B, which is the launcher, where she sticks her sword up in the air. Just a smidge. Okay? So this is the hard part. This is the part you have to practice and eyeball in time. This is what makes this combo a little bit tougher for, for people that aren't super well into comboing, okay? So you go for that. The reason why you want to delay it is because if you don't delay it, you're going to get a whiff, just like I like, like you just saw right now. If you get the delay just right, then you get the actual, the, the, oh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. After the 2B, you're going to be doing quarter circle forward B, okay, which is 236B, which is her lunge, and the reason why you're doing this lunge over the light lunge is because the, the, the medium lunge has less recovery which means that you can act out of the, the move a lot faster than the light version, okay? And so that's the main reason you're doing that one. So that's the main reason why you want to delay the 2B just a smidge so you can get that lunge while they're falling down, okay? Because if you do it immediately, it's gonna whiff completely. So you have to delay the 2B just a smidge. Okay, I didn't get it enough that time. Nope, oh, didn't get enough that time. There we go, we got it. And then you do the exact same combo as you did last time, okay? So, that is the corner combo. Now, like I said, this is pretty uh, pretty essential for Aurier players. Not the corner combo, but the bread and butter that we learned earlier. That is super super important for Orie players but hopefully you guys will be able to learn this combo and incorporate it into your repertoire for you to be able to go online and start kicking ass so thank you all for watching that's going to be it for me today if you have any other questions about the Orie combo uh just let me know in the comment section down below and i'll try to address it um however it's as long as you follow these instructions, I pretty much covered every base it, it takes to do the Orie combo. The Orie, the, the the whole reason why you're doing this specific sequence in the air is because it's timed correctly that you can do the relaunch no matter where you are and get the, the actual relaunch in the end, okay? So, 
thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next Combo 101. Hopefully, let me get to you the whole YouTube spiel. Let's see. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more BB Tag. Comment in the comment section down below what other characters you want to see. And what's, what else? Did I miss anything? Follow me on Twitter. What else? Anything else? I think, I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.